Yo, what's happening guys? Today's video is going to be a little bit different as it's going to be mainly me just talking. Which, if you watch my videos, you know I don't do that much, so you know, bear with me on this one. But yeah, this is going to be a quick story about something that happened to me about a week ago on 7 Days to Die. I still can't believe this happened, to be honest, that's why I have to make a video about it. As you can probably tell from the footage playing in the background, something went wrong with my base. About a week ago, I was working on something outside my base, and I heard this weird noise. It was like a firework or a shotgun or something. At first, I didn't think much of it, I just carried on doing what I was doing. And about 10 minutes later, I heard the same noise again, so I'm thinking, what the fuck is this noise? I knew there was a random guy in my lobby, so I thought maybe he was nearby shooting zombies with a shotgun or something. And I knew he had sent me a ally request earlier on, so I accepted his ally request just to check where he was on the map. Then when I pulled up my map, I could see the guy was like in the middle of my base. Luckily, I was just outside really, so I quickly ran over there. Yeah, when I was walking into my base, I could hear this noise again. Then I walked into my kitchen slash crafting area, and this guy is stood right in the middle of the room, firing off a rocket launcher. Like, what the fuck? I really wish I had recorded it, but I just panicked and I pressed the um, play, um, eject button on the PS4 just to kick him out as quick as possible. Then, to make matters worse, when I loaded the game back up to check what damage this guy had done to my base, I walked into the kitchen area again and he had put um, landmines down on the floor, so I ended up blowing myself up as well. I suppose it could have been a lot worse. Imagine I was nowhere near the base and I didn't hear that noise. It could have destroyed everything. I did end up losing like four storage boxes full of materials which is going to take me a while to get back and I lost like four cabinets full of already made up concrete which is going to take a while to get back as well but yeah it could have been a lot worse and if you're wondering why nothing was locked in my base and the guy could just walk in when I first started this base it wasn't just me it, I was playing it with friends so it was all of our base we left everything open so you know so everyone could access everything but since this happened, I've been round and made sure everything's locked from the front door to all the um, gun cabinets to the storage cabinets, everything's all now locked. This is the maddest thing that's happened to me on 7 Days to Die to be honest, so I wanted to share it with you guys. I just wish I'd recorded what I saw when I walked into the base. But yeah, if you enjoyed this type of video, let me know and maybe I'll do more, but uh, I don't know. And I'll have more 7 Days to Die videos coming soon, including a full base tour. Yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.